It is weird. I haven't said this particular line in probably two years now, but I'll throw it out there because it is indeed the date it is. And may the fourth be with you. Um, wow. It shows how quickly you can really fall out of love with something, am I right? Hey, no, Ranger of the comic here. Right now, we're just going to be reacting to this new little clip from The Bad Batch. Obviously, apparently, it's coming out today. It's clever. It's marketing. It's what they can do. It's the most they can do to try and claw back the fan base that they once had. It's a sad thing to see something die, but at the same time, it's kind of like maybe we've made the point as fans in the way we wanted to by not going to see Solo, by not seeing... Rise of Skywalker in the numbers that we did with the previous films, how Last Jedi didn't perform the way they wanted it to. I think we've made our stand there. I think they understand that maybe they made a mistake. And especially with apparently Gina Carano maybe coming back for The Mandalorian season three, I might maybe be inclined to watching that show from season one and maybe, maybe accepting the Star Wars universe back again into my life, of which it was actually a rather big part. All right? I've said it before, I've said it again. I'm into a lot of different things, you know, comic books, football, K-pop, Star Wars, music, films, TV. It's a lot of stuff. It really is. And Star Wars is something that has always been there for me. It's one of my first inspirations. It's something that really struck me when I was a kid. And seeing it go the way it did really did hit very, very hard. And I don't really understand why they made the mistakes and why they made the choices they did. It's just stupid leadership, stupid management on top of very, 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 very stupid story decisions. But with John Favreau, Dave Filoni in charge, hopefully, of the Star Wars universe going forward. Maybe we might get some solace in all of this nonsense. So let's get to this trailer for The Bad Batch coming out today. Who knows? Might watch episode one tonight. Let's get to it. Let's go. Some moments echo throughout the galaxy. Execute order 66. Wars rage. Empires rise. The Republic will be reorganized into the first galactic empire. But this is the journey of an unlikely few. Meet the Bad Batch. You ready for this? Hunter, He's the leader. the leader. The leader. In and out quickly and quietly. Wrecker, the brawler. He's called the tack. Come on. Tech, the specialist. This is not a standard military operation. Echo, the hacker. Oh, there we go. This great plan of yours. The good old boy. Really there. Lousy about that. Echo. And Crosshair, the marksman. Go away. So this is like a character trailer. Altered by genetic mutations, a ragtag band of clones struggles for survival. Knife! And their choices will determine their fate in a dangerous new galaxy. You know what? I do feel that the way Disney is going with the Star Wars universe going forward it's really unlimited. This is the chance they had right at the beginning in 2015, in 2013, when they bought the rights to Lucasfilm, including Indiana Jones, by the way. But they had the opportunity to create whatever they wanted. They had the opportunity to follow George Lucas's plan and ideas for the story. They chose to do what they did, and I don't think it worked. And everyone acknowledges that it generally didn't work with the sequel trilogy. But the way they're trying to make an interconnected universe, essentially like the MCU of Star Wars, I think it's one that can work. I think it's something where there is a lot of growth available there. And I just hope with the people in charge now of these projects, they can actually create something that most fans would really enjoy. And I'm someone who loved the Clone Wars. I'm someone who really liked the last season of the Clone Wars that just came out. And Rebels is a very, very underrated show that a lot of Star Wars fans probably haven't watched. But I would suggest they watch it because there is a lot there in terms of world building. There's a lot there character wise, story wise that I think is, well, it's definitely missing from the sequel trilogy. I can say that at a bare minimum. But here, obviously, hearkening back, going back to the good old days. And some of these characters are very, very eclectic. Um, I think when they had that little arc in the Clone Wars, 
everyone responded to these characters so well because of the way they were designed, the way they were put forward, and clearly they had staying power because people want to see these guys. They want to see the missions and stories they went on. And maybe they're going to appear in other shows going forward in this Star Wars universe, so long as they don't get killed off in this show, I guess. So I hope that doesn't happen. I can see them maybe popping off one member, maybe two, but... I want something going on here where they could be seen in other shows, other animated shows, maybe other live action shows. And who knows, there might be a chance this entire situation can be saved. Thank you, John Favreau. Thank you, Dave Filoni. Kathleen Kennedy. I've said all I wanted to say on that front, so we won't go there. But good job to those guys. Good job to people overseeing this. Anyway, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, who's going to come after you? Captain Rex going to come after you, right? You don't want that. No, you really don't. I mean, he's a good guy. You know he's a good guy. He's a good guy, but he's going to come after you. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been Narendra the Comic. You have been Grant. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. Been doing it every day for over 1,000 days now. We ain't stopping till we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality. Shitty content, so hashtag never not here, just how it goes, also bring the Bogwas, Bogwas means nonsense, and Benjabi, and we also bring that, bring a lot, bring a little, do a lot, do a little, but we do indeed bring the quality shitty content on a daily basis, so see you tomorrow, more of the same, but slightly different, but essentially, the very same, once more, we're consistent, we're consistent with the shit we bring, see you tomorrow, skadoosh.